Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that after over a year of hard work, we've got a brand new version of Gsender ready for release. You can go and download it now. I'm just going to give you a little bit of background first on this program, um, and if you stick around, I'm going to get through to some pretty cool features afterwards that you might be interested in using. So if you don't already know what G-Sender is, basically it's a CNC control software compatible with Gerbil and Gerbil HAL machines. And uh, we actually started this project about five years ago with the intention of making it open source for anyone to have access to the code, recontribute back to the project. It's free for anyone to use. Surprising amount of hobby CNCs on the market and even semi-professional ones actually use Gerbil and now emerging Gerbil HAL firmware in the back end to run those machines. We've over the years been trying to keep up in terms of making G-Sender compatible for use across all those machines, uh, of course our machines included. We're excited that with this new version, we've now been able to bring all of that design and compatibility up to a brand new level. Not only can it work on landscape screens, but it can work on portrait screens. Other functionality that we had to kind of patch on to the existing design is now fully integrated into it. So things like spindle control, laser control, um, we're co continuing to build in better tool changing support as well as uh, rotary and fourth axis control. We had gotten so much feedback on the UI over the past several years of developing G-Sender into what it is today that we were keen to implement that feedback and just make the experience that people were looking for even better. We also actually wanted to refresh the entire uh, code base behind Gsender so that we could make a more solid platform to build on moving forward. So just as I promised at the start, I'm gonna now get into some of the more specific features that I think people enjoy about Gsender that make it beginner friendly. Uh, starting with loading up files, uh, you can see here I've got a file loaded. It makes it very easy to see what your cutting tool paths are gonna look like. You can load from your computer, you can load recent files that you've run in Gsender. Uh, you can also look around at them, zoom in. And uh, we've also got the ability for you to run an outline of the file if you want as well. And then once you feel like you're ready to start it, you can just hit start and it'll start running for you. The second feature to highlight is probing. So over here, we've kind of got a probing interface. And this actually supports all of the standard touch plates that you find on the market um, for probing in any direction that you need, as well as even putting it on any corner of the material. This is very handy for setting your zero at the corner of a piece of material, um, or even just finding the Z height of it. And um, you can use a piece of paper for the paper finding method, or you can go by eye if you want, but this is a pretty handy thing to automate the zero setting process. The next feature I wanna show you is our start from feature. And this is very handy because if your machine loses power for any reason or your USB connection is lost, this basically will tell you the point at which your file failed last and you can then pick back up on the card cutting after that point. This will actually tell you where that spot was, but also if you feel like you know better where it was, or if you just wanna set up a custom point yourself, you can specify that too. You've got keyboard and gamepad shortcuts that help you to speed up and customize your CNC control experience. The next one I wanna move on to is actually our quick movement buttons. So you can kind of see them up here. And these essentially allow you to, if your machine has limit switches, to quickly move to the different corners of your machine automatically, as well as we have a custom parking location that you can set up. And that can basically be like a customized location that maybe you like moving your machine to anytime you want it out of the way, or if you wanna move it to the front for doing a tool change or something like that. This is a great time saver. Instead of manually jogging the machine around, it'll take you exactly to where you wanna go. The next one I wanted to highlight is our new config area. This may seem like a very simple thing, but if you've ever interacted with other G-code senders before, a lot of the times they have the settings for the sender and the settings for the machine in two different places. 
And we've actually worked really hard to merge those two worlds together into a single settings area. This is very beneficial because uh, not only are the settings then grouped based on the um, accessory that your machine has or the area that you're trying to set up, but it also makes the configuration and troubleshooting of your machine much faster. You can see if I scroll down here to motors, for instance, um, not only can I set the values for, let's say, my x-axis, but I can also see which settings are machine firmware settings, and I can also use these buttons to jog the x-axis to see if it's moving the amount that I'm expecting it to. Moving on to the next feature, I want to show off our stats page. Now, basically what this is is a nice way to see insight to the health of your machine. It's going to show you how many jobs you've run, um, what your average cut time is, what the um, success and failure rate have been of your, the recent jobs. It'll also show you basic um, settings of how your machine is set up and uh, maintenance items as well. And this actually has other tabs you can go into so that you can check off these maintenance items. You can create custom ones if you'd like. And you can see a history of the alarms or issues that your machine has had, as well as you can generate basically a downloadable summary of problems your machines run into if you want to share it with someone else to get help on what might be going wrong with your setup. The seventh thing that I wanted to bring up was uh, our new tools page here. And so this is something that actually, uh, all these tools were in gSender already. You can see things like our surfacing tool. This automatically generates a flat surfacing pattern for um, surfacing any material you might have flat. We also have a rotary surfacing, and this will actually carve uh, for a rotary or a fourth axis turn square stock into round stock that then you can use for doing rotary cutting. And we also have other uh, configuration tools to auto square your machine or do movement calibration. And we're pretty excited about having these grouped in this section now because we actually really want to continue to expand on the new offerings we want to have here. The second last one I wanted to mention is something that actually a lot of you have been asking about, which is dark mode. And that's what I've been doing a lot of this section, showing you off the interface in dark mode so you can see how it looks. So I hope uh, for anyone who was waiting for it, you get to enjoy it now. And then the last one I wanted to go over is uh, tool change support. And what's really cool about how we've integrated tool change support, as I mentioned previously, is that not only are we working to implement tool change support for uh, Gerbil Howl machines that support it in firmware, but also we've got a built-in tool change support in gSender itself. And that means older machines that were never technically designed to support tool changing uh, can now do that through uh, gSender as kind of like a um, middleman interface to make that happen. I think that's very cool because uh, tool changing is a very easy way to, even though it adds a bit more cost to your machine, it can save you a lot of time. It might not be for everybody, but for some people it can be a huge time saver. So I hope hearing all of that, you guys are excited as we are about this new version of gSender that we've built up and the many possibilities it can offer. There's already so much that you can check out in the new version. You can go download it right now and let us know what you think about it. But we also have many more ideas about, now that we have this sturdy base to build on top of, new things that we want to see come in the future. So we're going to put up a list on screen and I'll give you ideas on what some of those things are. So some of these ideas basically encapsulate having more of a troubleshooting guide for first time users within the program. This is gonna come in the form of what we're calling the helper. And you might have seen it while I've been showing off um, gSender. There's a little talking head on the side panel there. Another one is having more clear maintenance and reminders on how you're using the machine and feedback on maybe if you need to replace items over time. We wanna keep working towards uh, supporting tool changing into the future. We want to add more built-in cam tools, like conversational cam tools, into that tools tab I was showing you. We want to build in more advanced probing options. So this can include other touch plates or uh, 3D probing heads, or even supporting surface probing and leveling. And uh, we were also thinking about maybe introducing a job management or scheduling tool so that you can queue up multiple jobs in a row 
and then run them one by one. If any of those sound interesting to you, I would really like to hear about them in the comments of this video. We always try to put effort into developing the things that our community wants. And our community doesn't just involve our own customers at CNC Labs, but the wider CNC community as a whole that benefits from GSender and using it. Actually, also on that note, I wanna mention that if you're interested in supporting GSender in any way, um, we actually sell um, some GSender merch on our website. If you want, you can go check it out. There'll be a link in the description, but there's also many other ways you can support us um, by giving us feedback, being a part of our community, uh, contributing to our open source code, um, or even if you're interested in the machines we sell or the hardware we sell, we sell like open source CNC controllers that you can retrofit to existing CNC machines. I'm glad that you guys stopped by today. I hope the video was interesting for you to watch and I'll see you again next time. Spooky, very spooky.